Good, Good morning, morning, Lakeland. Lakeland. I'm Mrs. Hogeboom. And I'm Nolan Osterhart. And, and we will be your anchors for today. The annual MLK Day programs are coming up fast. The 19th annual celebration will include an art, writing, and multimedia contest for area residents of all ages. This year's theme is Justice for All, allowing for inspiration from the Civil Rights Movement. The annual March on Maine is scheduled for Sunday, January 14, 2024 in downtown Milford. All submissions for the contest are due by Friday, January 5th, 2024. For more details, please visit the MLK Day website on your screen now. Thank you for participating, and if you have any questions, please see Mr. Perry. In more, Mr. Perry news, in more in Mr. Perry news, he is reaching out to students to collaborate on banners to be displayed in the windows of downtown Milford businesses during the march in, on Main Street in January. The banners will be based on words associated with Dr. King's life and legacy, and they can be modified to fit the skills, needs, and interests of your group. Please see Mr. Perry if you would like, to, like more information. Holiday Hope for Kids, a Lakeland tradition, is coming up fast. The party itself is December 7th, next Thursday, from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. here at Lakeland. To be able to miss class and participate in the party, you must either participate in the gift wrapping event or the party setup. Please scan the QR code around the building to sign up today. We will be having the Holiday Hope for Kids gift wrapping on Monday, December 4th after school. We will be having the party set up on Wednesdays, de Wednesday, December 8th, 6th after school. As a reminder, this event is hosted by Lakeland and we must represent the school in a professional and proper manner. The dress code for Holiday Hope for Kids party is Holiday Business Casual. Please see Mr. Farquhar for more dress code information. Thank you for your help and cooperation. Everyone at Good Morning Lakeland is, hoping, is looking forward to Holiday Hope for Kids as they will be doing special on-site episode from the party on December 7th that will air on December 8th. Stay tuned for that. We are very excited to see what the leadership class has done to help make the holiday special for kids from all around the community. Here is a short video from the leadership class about Holiday Hope for Kids. Good morning, Lakeland. We need your help for Holiday Hope for Kids on December 7th. If you want to help for Holiday Hope for Kids next Thursday, a Google form will be posted for you to volunteer. We will be hosting a gift wrapping on December 4th after school and the party setup is on December 6th after school. If you want to help out, you can attend the decorating after school or the gift wrapping. And that will get you out of school December 7th from around 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thank you, Lakeland Leadership. Appreciates it. Attention students, the following colleges will be visiting Lakeland in the coming days. The U.S. Army on December 6th and Grand Canyon University on December 13th. Remember, you must scan the QR code outside the Career Center and see Ms. Jeanette if you want to, want to attend. Tickets for the fall school play Miracle on 34th Street are now on, are now on sale online through Lakeland Theatre website at www.lhsperformingarts.org. The play is this weekend, December 1st at 7 p.m., December 2nd at 2 p.m. And 7, and 7 p.m., and December 3rd at 2 p.m. Get your tickets today and don't miss out on this holiday classic here at Lakeland. Any student going on the leadership and link crew trip to Florida in January, there is a very important meeting on Monday, December 11th in A510, Mr. Rolando's video room after school. All students are going, to the going on the trip are required to attend. Permission slips and other paperwork will be handed out at the meeting. Thanks. There will be a shock meeting on December 6th in Mr. Demanji's room, A207. See him for the meeting time and agenda. Thanks. National Honor Society is now offering after-school tutoring every Monday from 2.15 to 3 o'clock in A402, Mr. Perry's computer science room. Tutors will be available to help with various subjects for any students who, who drops in for help. And, and now, now for sports. sports. 
There will be a girls soccer informational meeting during seminar on December 6th in the field house. If you are considering joining the team this spring, please come to the meeting. The boys basketball team had a great win over Holly on Tuesday night. Great job boys team. The boys program is home tonight when they take on Heartland. Freshman at 4 p.m., JV at 5.30 p.m., and Varsity at 7 p.m. Go Eagles! Remember that you can find all the latest athletic information on the Lakeland Athletics Facebook page and on X. You can watch many, you can watch many of the games live online through the NF, NFHS network. Don't forget, we always post our episodes of Good Morning Lakeland on the LHS website and on YouTube. You can also look for links on Good Morning Lakeland Instagram at LHS underscore GML. Remember to check out the Lakeland podcast, the podcast that brings you all the best, th best that, has, that Lakeland has to offer, along with some fun original flair. You can look for Lakeland High School podcasts on Spotify and in your email each week. The next coming weeks will feature each class's officers. The next episode will be out soon, so be, be on the lookout. Students, if you have a club or group that you want to be featured on Good Morning Lakeland, please email Mr. Rolando with your HVS email. Thanks. So this, with this weekend being our show, uh, we came out to promote on Good Morning Lakeland, but Nolan and I were just talking about how it's hard to be a morning person on show week because we, have, we spend late hours here making everything look special and adding different elements and really um, kind of putting the pizzazz on the show that's already great. Uh, what is your favorite part about show week? Um, honestly, just like seeing everything come together in the end. It's just like, I guess, fulfilling to seeing like all the hard work come together. I, I especially like when, when we finally have an audience and I always tell the kids like, what I think is funny, sometimes other people will think is funny and sometimes people laugh in different places. Things that you didn't even think were funny all of a sudden, you know, become a big hit. So it's just great to see. And I love live theater because it's always different. Um, Nolan has been working with two different Susans. We have some, <laughs> some youth cast members um, because you can't do a show about Santa without kids. And um, so he's had, a couple of different girls playing his eventually future daughter um, in the show. And that's been interesting between the two of them, I would say. Yes, it definitely <laughs> has. They're both very different, um, but they're both excellent. So you won't get a bad show if you come out this weekend. Well, it's time for anchor shout outs. First up is me. My shout out is to all the cast and crew of Miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> And I'd like to shout out the production team for Miracle on 34th Street, who have all been doing an amazing job. Go Eagles and IA West. Thank, Thank you, you for watching Good Morning, Morning Lakeland. Lakeland. Have, have a, a great, great day, day and go, go see, see the play. play.